Hi, what's up guys? It's Professor Bro Man, we're here, we're, we're doing the thing, we're doing the stuff where we're gonna talk about Destiny 2, and we're gonna, it's gonna be so, we're gonna, it's gonna be, a, we're gonna talk about story. That's what we're talking about, guys. It's exciting. Um, so, some new information has been coming out. We finally know a little bit about some stuff that's going on inside of the Destiny oh. universe as far as story. We have learned that there are over 50 story missions, all right, or 50 cutscenes, sorry, and this is the big one for me, over 80 plus different activities to do in PVE. Now, some of them won't unlock till endgame, but it's 80 different activities. Uh, to, 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 break, to break it down for you guys, if we're, if we're ranking all activities that were available in the vanilla beta, or the vanilla Destiny launch, so we'll exclude the raid. Ah, fuck it, we'll include the raid. So we had the raid, which is one activity. We had some strikes, five activities, okay. Uh, we had the patrols, four. Um, we, if you want to include the, uh, the base missions, uh, where we were analyzing, doing all sorts of, uh, what, what is the right word? Public events. Uh, we were like four or five different variations on public events, right? Um, and then we had like all the story missions, which added up to like maybe, like, I think we had like 20, approximately 20 story missions. So, about 30 activities, most of which you didn't want to replay. And Vanilla Destiny launch. Vanilla Destiny 2 launch over double. That's exciting. Um, we talked a little bit about on some other videos about what those activities are. Specifically, we're talking about flashpoints. Uh, we're talking about scaling difficulty in public events, which <clears throat> I probably should do another more focused down video on that later on, but not today. Um, I I think and hope, and this is this is why I made this video today. <laughs> I really want you guys, for, for your friends that have become hypercritical of the idea of Destiny 2, okay, because of the beta not having enough content, this is the information that they need to hear, and they might not be listening for it. Um, I would hate for someone to miss out on an incredible gaming experience because they just happen to have too quick of a snap judgment. In a world where snap judgments are king, I understand. But this is not a period of time where you should be having a snippety snap judgment. You need to sit back and let the information unfold. And if, if, um, if the concept of having 20 times more shit to do in the game than that was in the beta you just played isn't enticing or kind of revealing to your mental state, you probably should see a doctor because you're not paying attention. Maybe, maybe you need to pay attention better and the doctor can help you with that. I need a doctor sometimes to help me pay attention. Yeah, I got the ADD. Who's fucking surprised? Are you surprised, Sean? Are you? He's shaking his head no, and he's also backing away. He's very scared, but he shouldn't be. So we're talking about a, a shit ton of things to do in Destiny 2, which personally, me, I'm excited about that stuff. It'll be really cool. Some of it's going to be end game focused, some of it's going to be early game focused, and that's fine. But the fact that there's such a large amount of things to do is promising. It means a couple of things to me. It means that Bungie has learned how to make content inside of their engine on a grand scale. Um, which is just, you know, the longer you do a job, the better you get at it, the quicker you can do it to a higher level of efficacy. They got more people working there. It's exciting. Um, so not only does it show good promise to me right now, but it shows good promise for all of the DLC. If this is the scale that they're looking at for the launch, and we're used to DLCs being what was half to a quarter of the size of the main game, we're talking about getting DLCs that are potentially as large content-wise, activities-wise, as Destiny 1 was when it launched with about 20 to 30 activities. So, that's awesome. Uh, the size and scope problem that Destiny had in its original launch may no longer be a problem. Which would be awesome for everyone. So there you go, guys. Make sure to share this with some friends who are, who are, who are crestfallen and sad about Destiny. Oh, the beta was so awful, and I'm sad, and I just want to cry and all this stuff. Um, 
because there's good things on the way. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I deeply appreciate each and every one of your eyeballs and your attention to listen to me today. It means a lot, and I thank you for that. I hope you have wonderful days. Goodbye. Peace. Goodbye. Peace. Peace. Goodbye. And I love you and peace.